Hey all, this is Jan Bakshan, senior software engineer here at Django Connectivity. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to allocate the contiguous DNA buffer using the WinDriver driver wizard and WinDriver replay. First, we open the driver wizard. Once the wizard is open, we open a new project by clicking on the new host driver project. We now see a list of devices connected to the PC. I choose the Altera device and then click Next. I can see a list of my device's resources. I click on the Generate Code button. The code generation options window is now open and I select my development environment. In this case I selected uh, Visual Studio to, uh, 2012 and choose the ID to invoke. I click OK. I select the name of the project to be saved. Let's call it uh, DMA Demo. A list of all the files generated for this project is shown. I will now close this window and the ID I choose will open automatically. You can also open the solution file, uh, file manually. Please note that this is important to close uh, the wizard before running the generated code. By default WinDriver will not allow uh, several applications to access uh, the same device. I am closing the wizard. Let's look at the generated code. Here we can see all the files that were listed when we saved the project file. I am now compiling the code. Compilation succeeded. Now let's run it. The sample application is now running and the device resources are shown. There are several options to communicate with the device, such as read-write operations, enable interrupts, and uh, so on. We will now exit the application. Now let's add the contiguous DMA buffer allocation to the code that we have created. We open the DMA demo dive.c file. We will now look for the device open function. Now that we have found the function, we can see that the DMA demo device open is a function that opens uh, the handle to the PCI device. We will add the DMA allocation code after this function. We will now open the PCI user manual and open chapter B339 WDC DMA Conteach Buff Lock. Here you can find the description prototype and parameters of this function. I will copy the function prototype. Now I will go back to my code and paste it right after calling DMA demo device open. DW status is the return value. HDEV is a, is a handle to the device that we received from a DMA demo device open. PP buff is a pointer to the user mode virtual buffers that will be allocated. I am adding it to the local parameters of a device open. DW options is various options for DMA location such as uh, DMA direction. For example, DMA from device in our case. DW DMA buff size is the DMA buffer size that we want to allocate. Let's allocate 1 megabyte buffer. PPDMA is pointer to WDMA uh, struct that will be allocated. Let's add uh, it uh, to the local parameters of uh, device open.
Let's add an error check condition to make sure that the allocation succeeded. Let's print the physical address of the DMA buffer by using printf. In case of contiguous DMA, it is the first element of the page array in the WDDMA struct. Now let's uh, recompile and run the code. The sample application is now running and the device resources are shown. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information, please refer to our user manual and technical documents.